and here i come hey guys if you have not started your stock photography journey yet i would suggest you to check the referral links in my video description over there you can find the sign up links to various stock photography industries it will help you to start your stock photography journey and earn some money as a passive income by selling your passionate photography online Hi guys welcome back to the channel this is Dr Arindam and you are watching the teaching doc and by now if you are watching this video i am pretty sure you have started your stock photography journey already and you have signed up in more than one stock photography agency that is you have signed up already in shutterstock i stock adobe stock dreams time big stock on five and so many industries however you are finding a problem a problem in management of time that is you need to upload each and every images to all of the websites and it's a very time consuming process right well in today's video i'll be telling you a secret trick that i use the all the legends use that will supercharge your workflow and that will ease your time management to the very least now there is no trick this is actually the use of file transfer protocol or ftp clients yes we will be talking about ftp clients the process by which you can upload all of your images into all of the agencies together in just one click so let us straight away go into our computer and i will show you how it is done now in order to use the ftp method you need a software a free software that is called an ftp client one of the most common softwares that are used by most if not all stock photographers is filezilla filezilla is a very small and very good and efficient ftp client that most use however i don't use filezilla i use xpix yes today's video will be about xpix i have already made previous videos where i have showed you how to use keywords how to apply metadata using xpix but today's video will be regarding xpix and how to use it as an ftp software so let's see today's video will be about uploading these three images as you can see these three images are of a chameleon or a reptile or girgit as we say in hindi so we will be uploading these three images to all the stock photography websites in one click now mind it if you are uploading one or two images this method might not help you that much but if you are using and uh, rather uploading more than 10 20 30 images at one go this will help you immensely now in order to find the ftp settings what you need in ftp file transfer protocol you need three things one is ftp host address you need a username and you need a password so let's first go into the various uh, stock agencies and see if we can find the ftp settings or not so first we will be going to shutterstock in shutterstock you can see the all the ftp settings will be just somewhere near the web uploader interface in shutterstock you can see connect via ftp they are saying my email id that is shibu7213 yes that is my email id with which i had signed up in shutterstock and the this is the email id and the host name is ftp.shutterstock.com so the that is the host name and the email id and the password is the same as your contributor account what is very important over here is you need to maintain a word file where you store all the ftp information of all the websites this is very important i will tell you later but for now let us browse all the websites and you need to log in into your contributor account and jot down all the ftp settings from all of the websites together next we see in 123rf.com we can see the ftp upload it says the ftp address is ftp.123rf.com my username is again shibu7213 and the password is the same password that i used to log in 123rf.com next in adobe stock again the ftp information is given just beside on the right side of the web uploader interface now you see in adobe stock the host address is ftp.contributor.adobestock.com however the id and password is unique it is not your mail id it is not your login password you see i have openly disclosed my adobe stock id and password i have nothing to hide you can't hack into my adobe stock account with this what you can do is you can upload adobe into my adobe stock account with all this information i'll be happy if you do so right moving on 
to big stock in big stock again if you go to the upload images option you will find the upload via ftp next to the upload via browser tab so the next tab is upload via ftp and the ftp settings are given over there you can see it is ftp.bigstockphoto.com and again the username and password will be the big stock username and password next in line is can stock photo yes i have not made any video yet about can stock photo but you can see i got already got sale of 4.85 dollar on the top i will make a video about can stock photo how is it how is it good for a beginner or not however you can see the ftp address is ftp.canstockphoto.com and the uh, login id and password is same as you login into can stock However, one thing I must say over here, I don't use FTP to upload in iStock, that is the Getty Images interface. You can use FTP in the form of a software named DeepMeta. However, I don't use it now, therefore I am not uh, telling you all this. I personally only make videos about things that I do. However, if you want to check out, you can check out DeepMeta. Moving on, in Pond5, again you can see the FTP option that is given just below the web browsing interface and in uh, pond 5 you can find the uh, password just by entering your the you can in pond 5 you can find the ftp details by entering your password next will be dreams time in dreams time if you go to the upload interface again they will give you the ftp options it is selected on the right side and like adobe stock dreams time has a unique id and the password is same uh, so it is like adobe stock the password and id is not your login id and password next deposit photos same it is the same thing you will find the ftp information hidden somewhere near the upload menu so the thing is you need to note them down you need to jot them down together because you need to manually enter these settings into the ftp software i will be showing you how to enter these into xpix why i am telling you to keep a wordpad file often your computer might uh, you may change your computer or you may want to upload from another computer you may reinstall the software in that case it is very cumbersome to again search all the websites and manually copy and paste all the ftp information so what i would suggest and what i do is i maintain a word file and uh, maintain all the address username and password so that once i install another software it is very easy for me to move on right so the actual software that we will be downloading is xpix and the website you can say is xpiksapp.com it is a free software you need to first download it and then you need to unzip it using a free winzip or winrar softwares like that then you need to install the software after you install xpix uh, this is how okay let us first go into the xpix menu uh, this is how the xpix will look like For, let me first delete all these you can see i have already entered my every web hosts into this already right so let us first uh, show you if you want to add a new agency right so we will first scroll down and we will click on add new you see title is the name of the agency if you want to suppose i name an agency i am giving a my stock photography so it is teaching doc photo i wish i had a stock photography agency i owned a stock photography agency i would have approved all of my images and i have sold all of my images anyway that is a far-fetched dream so always the host address in is in the form of something 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 at dash dash something something dot com so let us give a dummy host name and let us give a username and password over here you can click on show password even however note that if you are uh, if you have entered the information correctly and if you click a test connection it will show a green light obviously it will show not show a green light over here because i have entered a hypothetical values but let me show you by going into another uh, website so that uh, okay let first let us click 
in Shutterstock. All right. So in Shutterstock, if we click the test connection, you will see there's a green light. Uh, that yes, the green light already came on. It means you have entered the settings correctly. But mind it, often the green light may not come. It may show red light because of your connectivity issue. So make sure you have entered all the settings correctly. Otherwise, you won't be able to upload, and this will show failed. All right. So just. Uh, like I uh, told you, the name of the title is not important. You can uh, name Shutterstock instead of Shutterstock. You can write my favorite agency uh, like that. All right. However, the name of the FTP host, username, and password are important. Now, first, let us delete all these. And there are two options in XPix. You can add files or you can add directory. Directory means you add the entire folder. You can do that definitely. However. Over here, we will be entering files. So I have already navigated into the menu, and then I will click open. Now you see, I have already entered the metadata in XPix. There is a previous video where I have told you in detail how to enter the keyword and metadata in XPix. You can find that in the link in the description as well as in the card that is showing up now. Anyways. So after I have entered, or after you have entered all the metadata, that is the uh, description and title and the keywords, then you need to click on the select the images. I will select select all, and then you need to simply click the upload sign, which is the universal upload sign, just like the cloud and arrow to the right of the software. Right uh, over here, one important thing is you can use XPix both for Keywording as well as as an FTP client. That is why I always use XPix and I always recommend the beginners to use XPix. There are also many good uh, similar softwares like Stock Submitter and all that. However, XPix is my choice. So after you have entered all the hosts, your hosts are ready. You simply need to click on. And remember, the agencies you need to upload, you need to select them. So uh, you can see over here, all of the agencies are ticked. If you don't want to upload in Shutterstock, suppose you already updated manually, uploaded manually, you need to just tick off. Then we simply need to click on Start Upload, and all the uploading will start automatically. Now, one thing I need to tell you, the this is half the job done what i mean to say is yes your work is not fully done you need to manually select the category of the image in the stock photography website suppose i upload photo of a popcorn i need to select food photography suppose I, in this case in this case that is chameleon i need to select uh, the category that is animals right so let me try in bigstock.com i will show you uh, how the images appear this is just the uploading part and already i have uploaded using the keyword and the metadata entering metadata is the main problem for me to me it was the main problem that slowed me down entering all the same things over and over again into various stock websites however this uh, xpix will save that time for you so you have already uploaded the image into stock photography agencies with the keyword and metadata now you just need to select them and select the category and then submit so in bigstock.com we can see all the images have already been selected i will simply go to the edit and submit menu and i click select all now let's see my internet connection is running very slow as you can see so we need to simply click and select the category over here definitely i will select animals as a category as i told you this is a photo of reptile so we can we could have added wildlife if it was some other agencies like dreamstein however we simply in big stock as an example we simply need to click save and then we need to click submit and then all the images will be submitted for review likewise i will do it in shutterstock adobe stock and all the other websites and i don't want to show uh, all of them to you because you already know the procedure what is to be done after you have uploaded all the images with keyword and metadata so please let me know how you like this video please hit the thumbs up if you have liked this video subscribe if you like the content and hit the bell if you want to get notified to my future videos please do comment and please try out on your own 
प्लीज ट्राई आउट एक्सपेक्स प्लीज ट्राई आउट द अपलोडिंग इन एफ टी पी मेथड एंड ट्रस्ट मी इट सेव द लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड वॉन्स यू गेट हैंग ऑफ इट यू विल हेट टू अपलोड मैनुअली इन अदर स्टॉक फोटोग्राफी एजेंसीज अ क्विक लॉयल्टी फैन चेक फॉर दोज हुई वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल नाउ प्लीज राइट वॉन्डर वुमेन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑल्सो प्लीज कमेंट ऑन वॉट सॉफ्टवेयर यू आर यूजिंग वेदर यू रिकमेंड एनी अदर सॉफ्टवेयर दैट इज helping your workflow or not so that we can mutually learn from each other hi guys this is dr arindam and you are watching the teaching dog thanks for watching and and i will see you in the next one bye